successful internationally. From Colonel Tom Parker onwards, the great managers enjoyed a fame that rivaled that of their acts. Some of them even attained mythical status. One of the greatest of them all was in the city this week. When Peter Grant managed Led Zeppelin in the 70s, he earned a certain reputation. When he crossed swords with Paul Morley, he reminded everyone why. Anybody that is impeding the career of a band, or one of my bands, if they had to be trodden on, they were trodden on. Verbally or whatever you like to think. Mm -hmm. Now, and, and uh, if, if, okay, let's, let's split that into two. Because, I mean, I don't know how much time you spend in America, but you can hear a hell of a lot of bullshit there. Uh -huh. Verbally, what would be the worst thing you would do then? I mean, what kind of grief would you give them? Whatever I had to do. And physically, what would you do? Whatever I had to do. Is it true that you would hang certain people out of a hotel room 15 floors up from their heels? No. 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 But, but it could be a first today. 